hi viewers we have in statistics the topic of combinations so which also means selection in maths we call it NCR which means that if we have n distinct objects and from these objects we are to take r items so In that case, total number of combinations or we can say total number of selections in that case will be equal to NCR or N combination R. For example, if we have six distinct items a b c d e f so six different letters <clears throat> so it means n is equal to six we want let's say three letters so we'll select three letters in how many ways so it means r will be equal to three so six c three which if we simplify we get 20 so it means different 20 selections are possible of three letters from these six different letters similarly if we are to take four letters from these six different letters so we can say 6c4 so this will be the total number of total number of selections so which means that total 15 selections are possible if we need four letters from these six letters. So remember that NCR can only be applied when we have n different items. If items are similar or some of the items are similar, then we have a different strategy. For example, if we have these letters A, A, B, C, D, E, total six letters, but two of them are identical or similar. So in this case, the total number of selections of let's say three letters, three letter selection, three letters selection, is required how many selections are possible so when we have identical items so we make different cases like those three letters in which there is no a those three letter selections in which there is one a and those different selections in which there are two a's so one by one now we'll consider if there is no A, it means from the remaining four letters, these four letters, we are to select three of them. So from these four, three letters we need to choose. So it means it will be 4C3 and this will be equal to 4. And if 1A, then we need two more from B, C, D, E. So from these four letters, 4 we need two more letters so this will be 4c2 which is 6 and the third option is with two a's so two a's so to make a set of three letters we need one more letter so it means from the remaining four letters b c d e so from these four we will take only one so which means these are four so total overall we will have 4 plus 6 plus 4 which is equal to 14 so 14 selections are possible in which there might be no a 1a or 2a's so we'll have three letter selection when some of the items are identical so remember that in selection order doesn't matter
which means that if from a b c d we are taking two letters so let's say we choose a and b so either we choose a and b or we chose b and a selections are considered same so it will be counted only once so this is one selection so here order doesn't matter